Samsung released the One UI 7 Beta 3 guys, I just installed it as you can see, it still says finishing system update, it's still One UI 7 of course, it's Android version 15 of course, but this time the version is ZX LJ and we do have a security patch level from this year, it's the 1st of January, today is the 6th of January, so good job Samsung we kind of been waiting to get this better yeah a better software <laughs> it's here around Christmas but hey everybody needs a break so it's now the 6th of January and we do have the One UI 7 beta 3 so what is new the first thing I always check is the home screen the launch guys I already see something that is new the home screen version now is 16.0.0.3.2.1 and we do have some changes now this did not exist before the up size was there before before, but now it's directly on the main screen so we have the up labels labels on home screen and the widget labels and we do have also the size uh, like this so let's just put it like this I do have now these gigantic icons it's not my thing so I'm gonna go and just put it back like this so up labels guys if you remove the up labels just a repetition yeah you're gonna get this very clean very neat look and if you have a desktop like mine then well good luck finding what is actually there also no widget labels and this is kind of interesting if i go back to the settings guys you see that when i remove the up labels apparently the widget labels are gone as well so i can now only remove the widget labels it's going to look like this and if i go back and put the widget labels we're going to have the proper labels by the way this only works for the stock widgets now i don't know why they decided it like this because in the previous version i was able to just get up labels or widget labels now when i kill the up labels boom no more widget labels but this is a first change that i see something interesting they also changed the battery icon and this has been causing already a lot of controversies now people don't really like this icon i think it's not that bad at all now let me show you guys this is the old icon like pay attention right this was just a screenshot from the one ui 7 beta 2 and yeah if you are to like pixel peep it wasn't perfectly aligned and now of course they change it and they even make it bigger so in terms of visibility like i really like it bigger in terms of alignment yeah it's not so much aligned but nevertheless one of the other changes here is the revamped battery icon they just kind of made it bigger let's see what happens with the quick panel this is the standard stuff when i swipe from the right i get the quick panel with notifications and when i swipe from my left i get only notifications the one ui 7 better one already changed it and they provided us a view called separate and the separate view was something that i kind of like because now when I swipe from the right, I just get a glance at the quick toggles. By the way, this seems different as well. I have a feeling that now all the quick toggles are kind of wider compared to how they used to be. But nevertheless, when I swipe from the right, I get access to the quick toggles. When I swipe from the left, I get access here to all my notifications. But guys, I mean, if you have been paying attention, yeah, there is something called quick pen on the left side and this is uh, yeah now you <laughs> and i swipe from the right i'm getting my notifications and when i swipe from the left i'm getting my quick panel it's uh, it's it's something peculiar maybe uh, suited for people that are not sure like left-handed or whatever like if that's your thing go and use it i don't really like it so much but i do like the separate view so i'm going to use that separate view let's see what else we have you remember all these nice toggles the way uh, the color changes from the bars this was already there in the one year i save a better one now when i hold my finger here guys i'm gonna get access to more sound settings there's something called loudness normalization i don't remember if this thing was there before loud normalization prevents sound from suddenly becoming too loud or too quiet when playing media i don't recall this thing being there but it could be also that i missed it and this is the brightness bar i like the way this behaves when you manipulate the brightness you directly go on the home screen so that you kind of get a glance at what happens now when i hold the finger here I get access to all my brightness settings all right another change here is this new weird thing where you can kind of reverse the notifications with the quick panels if that's your thing and the other change is the wider quick toggles here i don't recall this being like that it might not also be the case but i am pretty sure that this looks different all right now let's go inside the settings and see what we can discover there yeah, Galaxy AI, this icon is a brand new icon. I'm not sure why they're rebranding it. It kind of also looks 3D a bit. So I'm not sure if this is a hint that they're going to also rebrand and revamp 
other icons but when we click on the galaxy ai we still have like the standard stuff there all the AI things that i've tested all along and yeah we do have a new galaxy ai let's check the lock screen and the always on display all right the now bar is there yeah this also looks a bit different check information you need right now a very short demo i'm gonna go and start the clock and let's put a timer Wait, when I minimize it, this is the timer here. And by the way, the cool thing about this is I can also go and start the voice recorder. Now, pay attention, guys. I'm going to start my voice recorder, minimize this. And now when I click, I can just do like this. And it's going to be very beautiful. I can see here my recording and also my timer. But the best thing about this is that when I go on my lock screen and always on display, guys, I will have this information in real time so this is the always on when i go back on the lock screen i can do this and yeah, i think this is just very useful but something here feels different when i go here in view more i don't recall this view make notifications for ongoing activities more visible live notification will appear on the lock screen on the status bar and at the top of the notification panel i don't remember having the interpreter here but i also am not able to see some of the other toggles there like the voice recorder but we know that the voice recorder is working because i just have it on the screen nevertheless this really shows that samsung are trying and they are introducing changes some changes under the hood some changes very visible and speaking about visible changes now let's check the charging animations Woo! i think this looks different guys one more time, all right, just pay attention. Uh, what is gonna happen the moment I clap my phone? Wow, now it's really the same as before, but I do believe it's also kind of like a 3D with uh, more colors. Now let's try to do this also on the always on, all right, clapping the phone and voila, here we do have this charging animation. I really like it. I think it's one of uh, the most beautiful ones that I've seen from Samsung at least. So one more time, boom, and now we have the charging animation here. So guys, let me know down below what do you think. In terms of smoothness, I think it's quite too early to be able to really assess. But nevertheless, right, we don't really have a lot of issues right now with Samsung. There has been some issues with the so-called flashback the moment you open an application and when you close it, like the screen flashes. Some people are saying that this is apparently fixed. What I really like is the fact that now I can just open and stop an animation every time I want to do so, right? So I'm not saying that this is going to be really like OnePlus or Xiaomi 15 or let's say the Oppo phone smooth but you know like guys it's getting better and better like see all my recent ups are there i close all no visible stutters all right let's just try to test this animation all right yeah no visible stutters and i can just open ups all day long some people ask me to also try to open the camera is this really smooth i need to move it here so that i have it to the animation finger and yeah i think it's kind of nice kind of nice I can open the dialer and yep also this icon here yep it's getting better and better guys what happens with the up drawer so let's just go up all right you know that there is this new feature here and uh, pretty much works exactly it's the same way they did not remove the vertical drawer which i think is kind of cool what about the folders guys let's just take a folder put it there click here enlarge yeah, kind of the same. But you know, guys, when you have big folders, one of the advantages is that you can just click the applications directly from here, right? See here, guys, I'm directly clicking the applications from the big folder. And yep, this is here, uh, the Google Now. I'm gonna need more time to discover all the under the hood changes, but it's just impressive the way things are. And yeah, I, I know it's kind of stupid to just try to do those things. We only do this to understand if you're gonna get finally like a smooth experience, the way it should work, because this is the ultra phone from Samsung and everybody else almost is at a very good level. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check my full One UI 7 Better Features review. Stay safe, VST over and bye.